All right, I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. Uh, as far as uh, doing this, i got to find the, let's see, uh, as far as scrolling around the directories. This is the cruise di uh, diary. It uh, tells all the ports and everything we did during the cruise. Um, this is on the uh, USS uh, Nimitz, actually my first uh, nuclear ship. Now, the nuclear ship has three hangar bays. Uh, this is the ship right here. It says, Ho 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 with a Christmas uh, tree. And actually, that's the yellow shirts. Uh, we have grapes in here. We have blue shirts uh, decorating and all. Red shirts being the firefighters. All right, not too many white shirts shirts at all uh, and a bunch of green shirts in there so it's uh, uh, all the aircraft are on board uh, we still have A6's up here we have A7's so it's back when the A7's were still around the A6's are no longer around they got replaced with F-18's and then uh, F-14's are back here F-14's are no longer around they've been they're gone so they've been replaced with f 18 really consolidated CVN-68 CVN means nuclear Conventional vehicle new year. Uh, this is my video number six. Um, this is the map. Uh, uh, luckily, this book has one. Uh, we can tell we uh, we hit a lot of places. Uh, things like Thailand, uh, uh, Singapore, Singapore in here, uh, PI, the Philippines again. Uh, went out, uh, way over here. Um, uh, did some things. There a lot of exercises all over the place. So uh, actually, this looks like a I might have to change something. I made it Indian Ocean originally. I'm going to have to change it to Westpac on the introduction. I thought this was actually a part of Desert Shield, and we never went inside the Persian Gulf, so we uh, we stayed out on this cruise. There's some other uh, some other cruises that we did, and we on the way back we hit Hawaii. So there's a really neat. Uh, I got involved with a luau. I actually 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 got out there and danced. So it's going to be a a couple of really cool pictures in there. Of, uh, I actually don't see my picture, but you see the lady. He actually uh, uh, the hula dancer actually wrapping around with a grass skirt, so it's kind of cool. Uh, that's me. Uh, fogged up glasses from the mist, uh, sitting in back of uh, the island, and uh, on a tow bar. Uh, actually, it's a bar that goes around the wheels uh, to hold it in place. Made a nice little seat. Um, still, you know, second class at the time. Uh, troubleshooter, uh, you know, just a maintenance guy in F-14. I'm not a waiter yet. Um, this is a picture I took. Uh, you see the uh, uh, what I call the uh, wake of the ship. Uh, the checkmates, the uh, VF-32, uh, the checkmates is who I was attached to. Uh, that's uh, another F-14 right there. Uh, there's two of them there. Uh, this is what it means with tail over water. Uh, if you slide off of this, if somebody gets on here, slips off, you're in the water. You're in what's called the drink. Uh, some pretty cool things to point out here. Uh, these are uh, lifeboats. That's all along the ship. Uh, these are, I'm really not sure what these are. They don't look like guns or missiles or anything. I think they're more uh, uh, part of the radar system. Uh, if you know what these are, you're watching this video, feel free to let me know. Uh, these are nets. If you uh, do get blown off, uh, off the flight deck, you have a chance of falling into any net nets. You know, breaking a bone, falling into these might be better than drowning in this. All right, this is a catwalk, but we all walk in to get around the outside of the ship. Uh, speaker system uh, called a 5MC up on the flight deck. All right. This is a, a resting gear. And uh, let me tell you something. <laughs> One of these breaks will slice you in half when, uh, when it's under tension and the uh, aircraft is, uh, is actually uh, pulling it out. Uh, that's a Hummer uh, called um, an E2. We call it a Hummer because it hums a lot. It puts you to sleep when you're down below. Uh, there's some rain in the background. Uh, you can see that the sun shining through this one uh, up here. Uh, F-14. Um, I don't see any tower sunshine. I don't see a direct route front too, so it's not to it's not in tow. But uh, I don't see any uh, trucks or anything around uh, the tires. All right, so they're uh, they're out there um, protecting. Them. That, uh, the, the props and uh, the guys back on that aircraft have to watch out. Those things will slice you out. Uh, let's go back here. Here's one coming in for Westman. Optimum uh, wire to catch is number three, counting as one would be in the first, first one, two, and then so on. The round downs back there, if they hit the round down, they could pop right up and uh, 
uh, you, you could be in a pretty bad trouble uh, being a pilot. These are the LSOs, landing signal officers. So these are telling the guy, the pilot up here, uh, nose up, nose down, uh, angle of attack indicators right here, turning uh, three different colors, telling uh, the, the the LSOs, hey, um, am I coming in fast? Am I up and nose up, going in slow, and so on. There's uh, some uh, fuel tanks down there, and side Sidewinder missiles up there. That's me getting ready. To, uh, get, I'm tucking in my shirt, getting ready to go out on uh, the flight deck. That's our coats back there. Um, some uh, cruise boxes, file cabinets. I think I pointed all this out before. Uh, those are control panels, spare control panels that we might need if we uh, uh, have to drill trees or something. Okay, uh, a W. That's, that's a William. Okay, that's an airflow. Uh, if we uh, go into a chemical attack, they're going to secure William, and we won't have any airflow. Some more boxes up. We find places to store stuff any place at all in here. Uh, if I see some other stuff, uh, I'll point it out as we go through the videos. All right. This is what our racks look like. like a good buddy of mine got, uh, you know, I forgot his name. <laughs> all these guys, I, I lost uh, track of them. I, our racks are actually uh, underneath our, our mattresses. Nice uh, one-inch mattresses. Maybe two inch, but um, they had cassette players at the time. Uh, we didn't. Uh, I don't think we had DVDs at the time uh, this was going on. Uh, 1988, 89 uh, time frame. Uh, curtains that we used to, for a little privacy, and that's about all. All the privacy we, we had on the ship. The 160 man birthing. See uh, somebody else sitting right there, um, chatting, <laughs> chatting to him. All right, um, that's the same guy. Uh, I think it is. He's sitting up on top of a tractor. Uh, blue shirt. Yeah, the blue shirts uh, uh, help out with the to uh, tow bars and chocks and stuff like that. Uh, the red shirts are ordnance guys. This is a F-14. That's a Sidewinder missile on that. Uh, that's another one of my squadron that uh, uh, checkmate. Uh, that's in tow. He's got the chocks in hand. He's a blue shirt and he's walking along alongside. They want him uh, definitely walk alongside because the ship rocks and rolls and that thing gets out of control. That's the first line. Uh, is to do that. He also has chains over his shoulders that he's going to um, secure the the plane that uh, try to secure it in place. We're not in flight ops at all because we're sitting down. Helmet, uh, the cranials are off of our ears. Uh, the gloves are off of our hands. So we're in a relaxed mode right now. Um, that's me definitely in a relaxed mode. We got the huffer hooked up. Uh, probably not in the safest place because there's a sparrow right over my head. Uh, you know, I wasn't safety at the time. Didn't even think of that. Uh, I became safety when I was in another squadron. Uh, chocks are on it. Uh, that's a um, a cord for uh, uh, something to do with um, the antenna. I, I'm not sure. I forget what that cord's for. Uh, VF211 again, right there. Navy identification cards. So this is on alert 15 right now. We're we're uh, up on the flight deck, uh, just hanging around. Uh, so a couple of my buddies. Uh, white shirt is a troubleshooter. Ordnance is a red shirt or green shirt for maintenance guys. Uh, he's going to give one of the final thumbs up saying it's ready to launch. And that's what's for the safety flag. So uh, we're going to pull the pins on the landing gear so uh, it can retract. Right now it's uh, pinned and locked down. Tie down chains, keep it secure in place. Hook is always up, never down. Uh, the hook face down, not to be kicked out or loosen it or come out. Hook up, it stays in place even if it loosens up a little bit. Uh, that's a picture. I gave my uh, camera to one of the pilots to take some pictures for me, and I have no idea if he ever took some pictures or was able to, but that's me. Uh, that's the plane captain, brown shirt. He's in charge of the aircraft while it's on the ground. A uh, guy with the radio with the red shirt is part of ordinance. He's in charge. Uh, we have a um, safety guy right there. Uh, that's the uh, troubleshooter for this aircraft. Um, He's probably not in a very good spot. If uh, later on when I became safety, him leaning on a drop tank is not a safe thing at all. All right, you're not supposed to be doing that. Uh, that's a S3 outfit. Later on, I'll be in uh, VS23. That's VS33. Uh, I'm sorry, VS29 is where I'm going to be later on in a future video. Uh, tie down, pad eyes, uh, a lot of foreign object debris. Uh, if I gets inside these things, so we definitely need to keep them clean because the uh, the uh, intakes just suck up. It's like a big vacuum and you could damage an engine. Uh, part of the air show that we had, um, A6 uh, with the 
refueling probe going in the basket going into the uh, in fuel, uh, re refueling of, uh, probe of the F-14. Of course the wing's out going the same speed. Uh, so he, the F-14 is actually really crawling to, to stay with them. Uh, and and um, that's me relaxed down in the... That's something that uh, I don't think the guys actually liked that I was smiling so much. <laughs> I was just having fun. Um, but uh, that's the AE symbol. If you have 211, second class. Um, definitely dirty hands. <laughs> There's the our thing fought for an object, for an object to break. Um, always uh, in safety. Some of my buddies, uh, my supervisor right there. Uh, that's the assistant supervisor, one of the Jesus. Uh, a really good uh, buddy of mine at the time. I uh, seem to like. He likes everybody, and I I enjoyed having him. Uh, some music for us uh, to listen to. I'm not sure, sure what that is. Right there. I forgot. That's our TV and uh, our pre expand We got rid of pre expands uh, uh, during closer to the end of the cruise. Uh, that's vent ventilation with the direction saying airflow flows this way. I got mobbed. I was co coached into the line shack, and they mobbed me. <laughs> uh, my glasses in my hands. And uh, somebody grabbed the camera and took a picture of me. We just had a world of fun. So the line check uh, got a hold of the green shirt and just tackled me down. <laughs> it was it was fun at the time. Not not really sure what they were going to do to me. Okay, and that's it for this. All right, so we're going to go out of that. Go into uh, this. This is uh, one of the debts that we went on before the cruise. Um, nice a picture of Adak, Alaska. All right, before we had snow. I don't know if it's a future future. Uh, uh, cruise, we'll probably find out up come, uh, but we had so much snow up there, it was ridiculous. We actually walked through uh, valleys of, uh, you know, 30 feet snow. Uh, some painting on the side of a hill uh, from prior uh, visitors. This is where we worked out of, a little uh, can out on a line shack. That's a um, uh, nitrogen uh, cart. That's just a trailer to pull things up, but we uh, pressurized the canopy and so on with, with uh, that. And some um, Firetown uh, North, uh, different commands that were there and uh, no longer there, so they crossed them out. And uh, we missed some USN, Adventure, I mean, all, all the different things are painted on there. Uh, that was me, Two Beer Rambo. That was my nickname, because Two Beers would put me down. That's all I can handle. And I was working out all the time, so I was Rambo. They did the best on my picture. <laughs> and then uh, this is, uh, uh, I don't, you know, Fubis. Uh, not really sure what that actually means. Uh, and it's somebody else's drawings and so on. Okay, and that's our Master Chief. <laughs> no more EMI. <laughs> that was a uh, punishment. Uh, he always smoked a uh, big cigar. Uh, it's, uh, it's like his double chin that he had. I think that's the last one on this one. So we're going to go away from that. Um, Number two, uh, okay. I did. We did go to Subic Bay, but um, uh, the Philippines. But I didn't take any pictures. Uh, don't know why I go to places and don't take pictures. Um, that's a. Uh, this is. Uh, well, I think this is Hong Kong. I'm going to back up because I'm not sure where this is. Yeah, this is Hong Kong. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, my. This is a first visit to Hong Kong. I think I. Uh, I did not buy. Yeah, I wasn't married at this time, so uh, so uh, this is my last cruise being free. So Hong Kong Museum. Uh, this is some. Uh, uh, this is what it looks like downtown. And uh, I was going over the Kowloon side. Now uh, that's the building. So this is uh, the uh, one of the hydroplanes or uh, whatever, whatever you call them, uh, the ferries that go back and forth. And then this is what it's like over on the other side of uh, Hong Kong. Uh, that's me uh, posing in a cart while a buddy of mine picks up, and we're back to that. All right, so uh, let's go. Uh, I think Singapore. Yeah, I do have a lot of pictures. We're gonna stop on the surf. All right, so um, that's some of the pictures of uh, walking around. Just some. Uh, thing. I don't think this is a museum. It's a park. Just uh, shoot through the pictures. The video is going to be long enough not doing it. We got on the train and I thought it was pretty cool how it was arranged. There's no doors in between all the cars. It just goes all the way down. Uh, the subway system is really cool. Nice and clean too.
I shouldn't have had that in there. So this is a uh, Confucius. Pause any time if you want to try and read any of this. It probably means all this right here. And pause if you want to read it. That's another one. This is inside one of the malls. I think the engineering of this, the design of this, is just beautiful. When I saw this, I had to take the picture. It's just, it's just really, really nice how it goes up. That's me. Uh, I think I gave my friend a fisheye lens on the camera. And he probably didn't know how to use it the right way, so we have all this black around. But that's me posing uh, in front of all the faucets and things. All right, let's get out of this. Maybe that was the last one. All right, go down that. That was Singapore. Uh, this is Wog Day, the new Wog Day. Now, when I went through it, uh, when you look at my, uh, when, I, when I went through the initiation, there was nothing like this. This is uh, after it was televised uh, with the new smartphones. Uh, all the harassing and uh, everything that we went through during the original Wog Days, none of these poly wogs uh, or wogs would be walking around like this. All right, uh, the shellbacks are the ones dressed up with shaggy shirts. And uh, these are the wads right now. So we would be on all four on the on the uh, hands and knees, and uh, I mean all the clothes inside out. There's just t-shirts and pants on. And I think this is the first cruise that we actually had females on. I think it was the Lincoln actually that the first cruise we had. We didn't have girl females on this one. Uh, this is a good preparation for them though. And this is how they lined up on the. This is the elevator. They're lining up doing things. So they're all sitting down here and I guess they're getting up and walking around lining up here. This is what it looks like. I'm not sure exactly what's happening there. And I know they're coming up here just uh, flopping around and whatever's on the ground. And I guess that's like going through the uh, the big barrel of water with dye marker in it that, uh, when, I, when I did it. And that's back to the video. Alright, so... Uh, Let's go to number six. Number seven is uh, Hawaii. Yep, nothing in the uh, patio of Thailand we did go to, and why I don't know. Uh, I didn't take any pictures. Sorry about that. That's one of the memorials. And uh, that's the, the tugboat actually bringing the barge by so we can go on uh, Liberty Hall. And that's me. I'm dancing at Luau. Uh, he's getting a kick out of it. And uh, I think the pictures are out of sequence. She's here first, then she wraps it around, and then I'm dancing by myself. <laughs> pretty, pretty cool. All right, so that's uh, that was. Uh, yeah, the next one is uh, coming up. So I hope you like the video. Uh, if you do, hey, check out the other ones. Bye now.